I've only been playing since open beta was released. And it wasn't even the same day. It was a couple days. Someone else had told me about it. So This is a pretty decent hand. We're going up against a hunter. So I'm actually going to keep this. Now, this should be the opposite of the mage. Uh, this hunter deck, if... If he uh, drafted, if his draft was good enough, if he has a good enough deck, he should be. This should be very aggressive. The complete opposite of last game. Well met. So we're gonna noble sacrifice and uh, <clears throat> kind of prepare for the pain. <clears throat> I think next turn I'm gonna. Uh, oh, a novice engineer. Okay. I don't know. I don't like Novice Engineer now. Not after the nerf. But, yeah, we'll coin into a Harvest Gold. I think it's a pretty strong play. And then I have a follow-up next turn. I can uh, drop a Fairy Dragon, Abuse of Sergeant to the Harvest Golem, and hit for four. And she's going to get popped. He's playing something for three or he's just going to hero power hit me for two. Looks like he's got an animal companion. All right. Misha. The problem is Misha is going to go down. And we drop a fairy dragon. I pulled Blessing of Kings, but I want to save that. Actually, actually, I could have not saved it. I would have had my own uh, Karen, but Karen Blood of is what I would have had. That would have been pretty nice, actually. Uh, hmm. I think here we just we trade in, we trade in, uh, we hit for three, we make a guy. And we Noble Sacrifice again. Uh, things are fairly even so far. Well... Oh, wow. I just learned something new. I thought that couldn't target the Fairy Dragon, but I guess it's not affected by Battle Cries. That has to be the reason. I am ramming him in for five because even if he rams me he'll either trade and play something from his hand to take care of the five five dork or he's gonna make the mistake of uh, running right into me which he does and the stormpike commando is gonna get popped pretty unfortunate I'm gonna get 10 damage off with this dork and make another dork unless he has kill command he has to trade with the stranglethorn tiger unless he top decked it and he did that was a top deck that's alright No, he's gonna take out my guy. That was a good play. Um, pretty sure I consecrate noble sacrifice. Hmm. No, let's guardian of kings. I'm going to save that. Yeah, I'm going to save that. Negate that damage. Let's see what he wants to do about this. It's beyond kill command. Depending on how he plays this turn out, I think that's going to determine what type of secret that is. And he goes right for my face, so... That's got to be an explosive trap. Or something along those lines. Uh, I have the combination, so I'm going to 
quality and consecrate take them out let's see what this says oh wow I'm gonna play my own secret that might be a snake trap or a snipe it's not misdirection it's not explosive trap and it's not freezing trap yeah that's a snake trap or a uh Give me a quest. Well, I don't know. It might not be a snake trap. Well. I think I'm going to, uh... Hmm. a guy he's gonna deal with that stormwind champion he has to deal with the stormwind champion and the guardian which he can do he can take both of them out but he's gonna use a card in his hand explosive shot ouch i don't think the placement of my minions mattered on that one guess i should have traded Uh, pretty sure I, uh, true silver that questing adventure. No, let's, uh, let's jungle panther, make a guy, Reporting for duty. and then true silver. For justice. Take the questing adventure out. It's fine. I don't want that thing buffing up anymore. Even though he's at five, I've got nine on the table, and unless he has multi shot, he's not gonna be able to deal with it. Yep. He's got a he's got to draw more beasts. It's the only way he's gonna get out of this. Okay. Uh, see, now I wish I now I wish I attacked this. I went for his face. I wish I went for his face now. Let's hammer of wrath. Because that has to happen now. Yeah. X marks the spot. Reporting for duty. All right, he's at one. Let's see what happens. I hope he didn't draw a beast, because I, I really don't want him cycling cards. And he does. Okay. Clearly he's taking that out. And that. All right, that's fine. Do let's make a guy. Reporting for duty. The frost will stand ready. Not on my watch. Oh, 
He has to be the top deck king. Uh, he is he buffing that? Yeah, he is. That's not gonna help him though, actually, because. Yep. He's not gonna be able to prevent it. Well fought. I can see. Uh, he gives up. Well played. It's a GG. I'm gonna throw the rock at him. Go running. <laughs> that got pretty close too, actually. But I guess we just both got into top deck mode. I didn't pull any uh I don't even remember if I drew cult master that game I don't think I did so okay we redeemed ourselves one and one but uh let's keep it going let's see how this goes I like arena uh, since I'm personally have not spent any money in this game any real money arena is kind of gonna be where I make my living so I personally want to learn about arena as much as possible and play it as much as I can play it so that way I can get good at it build up my card collection which is starting to come together uh, <laughs> I did pull a legendary I pulled you Sarah which helps me out because I'm a control player and Ysera works better in control decks, and but it doesn't work in every control deck. Uh, I think we're dropping Guardian of Kings. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I'm probably gonna pass turn one and then coin into Harvest Golem again. It's a, it's a mirror match against another Pally, so. We, we always have to say hi, you know? Even if they don't. <laughs> Ready for action. A Goldshire Footman. I hope there was stuff that was worse. But this doesn't change the plan. It doesn't change the plan at all. We're still coining into the Harvest Golem. Uh... I'm thinking of saving Argent Protector for the Cult Master, but let's see how this goes. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. Well, change of plans. We ram this. Make a dork and noble sacrifice. I believe I that doesn't seem like the best play though I really don't want to use the uh, Argent protector right now I don't but I think we have to I don't want to yeah I'm gonna do it I mean I have a blessing of kings so We'll just pop that and uh, throw a Noble Sacrifice. I think that's a little bit better. A little bit better. And next turn I can do a lot of things. Wow. He had an amazing hand. Well, if he goes in with the 2-2 two -two first, which he's going to do, it looks like, it'll... Uh, Activate the Noble Sacrifice. The 2-2 will die. A good move. Okay. That's fine. I think here we run the Golem in. No. Yeah. Let's uh, Cult Master. Of course. Let's get some cards out of this, you know. This is my responsibility. Get some cards out of this. The value. That was pretty good value. Now he has to have Hammer of Wrath. 
Or, I guess he could run that into it. I have Blessing of Kings though, so I'm actually fine with that. Uh, I could True Silver Champion, but I think I'm just going to go with Blessing of Kings. And then play another Noble Sacrifice and hit him for 8. Yeah. Now the only way you can deal with that is if he has equality with Consecration or equality with Wild Pyromancer, if he managed to draft that. Either of those combinations. Um, he could ram both guys into me or drop an Argent Commander. Well, his Dork gets popped. Which, that's... The Dorks are expendable because they can just make other ones. Okay. I think we... Yeah, we true silver champion. For justice. We clear that out. We take two total out of it, and then we just drop a blood sail raider. And let's see if he has a counterplay for that. He's got his own true silver. My guess is he's gonna run it into the blood sail. Oh, ouch! That hurts. That wasn't nice. He'll probably just take the six. Well, four. After everything's all said and done. That's fine. Um. Hmm. I don't want to storm went on to. And just not be able to do anything else. So. I think the best play here is the Silverhand Knight that I just top decked. Hmm. Don't want to spell spellbreakers spell pointless, so yeah, we'll silverhand knight. Uh, I'm gonna drop a lights justice and get rid of this guy. And uh, you can use his charge, his last charge, to take out the silverhand knight. But I mean, I've got, I have more pressing guys that he's gonna have to deal with. And then I'll have to figure out when is it going to be best to play this Frostwolf Warlord. Okay, he drops a Stampede in Kodo. Very nice card in Arena. And I think he's just going to take the four. Well, two, when it's all said and done. And then swing in for one. Okay, that works. Uh, hmm. You know what? Hmm. This is interesting. Well, For justice. we're popping this. Oh. Definitely. But the question here now is, do we... Hmm. I think so. I think we just drop Stormwind Champion because... I could drop the Jungle Panther, but it's only going to be able to kill the Blood Cell Raider and nothing else. And then I don't have a good follow up. That's a 5-5, five, five, which is good. 5, it's it's vanilla. But I think we're going to just drop... Behold the might of Stormwind! How will you deal with this? He can't outrace me. Unless he has another true silver champion, which I guess is... Oh, yep. Yep. That's a problem. Reporting for duty. Oh, boy. Okay. I think I make a guy... Yeah, I'll have to stave it off. Make a guy, Jungle Panther, and then Frostwolf Warlord. Hmm. Yep. And I'm actually going to hit this for one. For 
I miscalculated that. I thought I was gonna have five mana after dropping that, after doing both. Uh, his own. I have silence, but that's still gonna be a six-six body. Uh, gets rid of that, and he gets me for one. Okay. I think we have to, uh, well, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. I think it's GG. Because even if I, I mean, I could silence it, but, you know, what good is that going to do? There's still 10 damage on the board. Yeah, I could silence it. Kill off his raid leader. That still leaves me at 9. He's still going to be able to do 9. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think he's got me. I, in fact, I'm pretty sure he does have me. Because even if I, uh, it's nine that way and it's nine that way, so, well, this has to happen regardless. That has to happen regardless. I must move quickly. Your magic shall not save you. Wow, I played that good actually. Enough to live anyway, unless he has a Hammer of Wrath or Consecration. Which if I, he has either of those, it's a game. Wow, he just pops my little guy. Here's another one. Oh boy. Ow. Ow. Well, we can, uh, we have to hammer. We don't have a choice, but the question is what do we hammer? I think it's obvious we have to hammer that because we have to be prepared to, uh, well, okay. Nice noble sacrifice. We're playing that. For justice. Although it's probably still over. Because I think he's just going to attack in with the Gurubashi Berserker. So it should still be game. Oh. Oh boy, that's not good. This is shaping up to be a really bad run. Yeah, this is shaping up to be a really bad run. But I, I think we're just going to end it here, guys. Um, next time, I'll, I'll continue the arena run. I'm 1-2 right now. Uh, I basically have to win out. I do have to win out if I'm going to uh, get to 12 wins. But uh, anyway, once again, this is Mulligan. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, taking the time to watch this video. It definitely helps me out. Uh, please leave comments below. Uh, tell me what uh, if you liked it, if you hated it, uh, what I can do better if you did hate it, and positive feedback is always appreciated if you did like it um by the way since if you did like the video uh feel free to hit that thumbs but thumbs up button just under the video on the uh, left hand side 
there's no love button on YouTube, but if you love the video, uh, feel free to favorite it and share it with your friends. Let them know there's some Hearthstone content on here. And uh, as always, if you don't want to miss any future content, uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on anything else. Uh, I don't just do Hearthstone. I actually do some uh, competitive Pokemon, too. Uh, I know that might sound weird to some of you guys that uh, play competitively in the Blizzard universe, or maybe not. But anyway, uh, I will leave all the links to the social clubs that I hang out at below. Uh, for right now, that is Twitter and Google+. Uh, the Facebook fan page is coming. Uh, Twitch will be uh, much further down the line. I, I plan on streaming on Twitch eventually. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it. This is Mulligan signing out. And uh, until the next video, you guys take care. Peace.